Hi everyone, and um, before I stop this video, I still need your votes. So if you would please, please, please click on the link in the description box and like my photo to vote on the Pro Beauties page. And I will love you all forever. And thank you so much to everyone who has already voted. It means the absolute world. Um, so I'm going to quickly move on to this video. Um, I'm going to be using nail can be colors today i've got my nail tip stand that i got from beauty big bang Ta -da! <laughs> the first color i'm going to be using from nail can be is salt stone so this is going to be the base color for all our nails so i'm going to go ahead and apply two coats of white to each nail so the first coat look at the coverage though this is one coat the coverage is brilliant cure that for 30 seconds um, I'm using my LED lamp and then go ahead and apply your second coat and cure for another 30 seconds. So to create a honeycomb, all you need is hexagonal glitter um, or confetti or whatever you want to call it. I've just, this is Mermaid Morello from Nail Sugar. I'm just showing you a few examples of what you could use. So there's that one. Um, there is also butterscotch. I know it's got different shaped hexagons in, but you can just pick out the big ones. And the same with the matte white. I thought the matte white was probably not a good idea because the base colour is white as well. So I thought it would sort of just, it wouldn't stand out enough. So I'm going to use the butterscotch confetti from Nail Sugar. Um, if you do want to make an order with Nail Sugar, use NatMug10. Um, that's the code to get yourself 10% off. So you can use top coat to do this, but I'm going to use base coat. Um, I'm not going to cure this yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the butterscotch confetti and pop it into a glitter tray. There we go. I just knocked the base coat. Did you see? <laughs> um, using my crystal picker, I'm just going to take some of the bigger chunks of the butterscotch confetti. And I'm going to place them on the nail in just randomly to create like a honeycomb look and if you want to get really pedantic you can like here i'm just cutting a piece in half and i'm going to place that up up the top of the cuticle area there just to fill in that gap you don't have to you could leave you could just leave a gap it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be like you don't have to be anal about it <laughs> uh, and then you cure that in the lamp but before i cured it i did move them around a little bit because i just was being again i was being pedantic about the gaps i'm using campos from the poison glass collection um, and i'm using my seven millimeter detailer brush from nail Um it doesn't this in a minute i'll show you this just looks like runny honey in a bottle you couldn't really see it there but i could see it look i'll show you it here look here look it just looks like runny honey already <laughs> so we're just going to go over the butterscotch confetti with this gel polish so the good thing about their poison and glass collection gel polishes is that they are like transparent so they're good for creating jelly nails and doing designs just like this by the way i can't take credit for this design um i have seen a few people do this i, I saw quite a few I was looking for like spring designs and bees and stuff and actually there was a few people that had already done this but I really loved it and I really wanted to do some 3D acrylic so this is why I wanted to do the bee. So I thought the bee would look amazing with the honeycomb obviously. So I'm going over with my non-wipe top coat and then I will cure that in the lamp. And then this is what all our nails are going to look like but we're putting the honeycomb in slightly different places all over the nails so here we are um so you can see like i've got a proper drip on what would be the thumbnail and this what would be the ring finger is what i'm which <laughs> it's the nail that i'm going to put the b on <clears throat> right so <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> to create the 3d b i'm going to be using acrylic and um, i'm going to be using pure black from nao i don't actually end up using the soft pastel lemon because it isn't yellow enough you're going to need something shiny like the backing form or or a backing from your form you know your nail forms um the thing the shiny thing that i'm using here had stickers on um karen nail sugar karen sent me quite a few of these because at the time i was doing lots of 3d acrylic and i didn't really have anything that i could um like shape the acrylic on 
other than my my backing forms but because i don't have clients i didn't have i didn't want to keep wasting forms just to use the backing so bless her heart she sent me loads of this um anyway right i'm i'm doing the bee's body in parts so i've done the center part now i'm doing the bee's bottom not the bee's knees the bee's bottom and i'm gonna make this a little bit elongated and this is gonna be more of a honey not a honey bee more of a yeah a honey bee like a drone like whatever they call them it's not a queen bee or a bumblebee it's gonna be more of like a, a worker bee so it's not going to be a big chunky bumblebee big chunky bumblebees are my favorites i love them so much i love that i love that bees are fluffy wasps i do not like very much i got stung by a wasp when i was little under my armpit it, it flew under my in the into the arm of my t-shirt and it stung me under the armpit <laughs> a few times actually and ever since i haven't really liked wasps very much so i'm just shaping out the bottom i wish i could shape my own bum it would be a lot smaller <laughs> and then once i'm happy with that i'm going to go in with a smaller bead to create the bees like head i start fiddling with my acrylic way too soon you just need to leave it for a little bit to sort of start to set up go in with another bead on the bees bottom it seemed seemed a little bit flat and i i wanted it to obviously you want it to have a bit of shape so i'm just going to add a little bit of height to the bees bottom and then i will leave that just to just to set um i'm going to be using crystal clear from nao nails to create the wings so again we're just going to take a small bead place it on our form not our form on our whatever it is that you're using <laughs> and just sort of shape it out um i'm gonna make one end pointed and then i'm gonna sort of try and create two like little lumps but one lump's gonna be bigger than the other lump i'm so rubbish at explaining just shape it out into a bee's wing <laughs> So you can kind of see what I'm, I'm going to flatten it down a little bit and poke this part in here. I'm going to just put a little bit more acrylic on that bottom part. Try and make it as flat as possible. You don't want it to be bumpy because ideally you don't want to have to file it because it's going to be super tiny and and fine and whatever and you don't want to break it i'm by my window so you might hear people outside <laughs> we live near the park so you get lots of people walking backwards and forwards every day um so i'm going to be using white and yellow artisan gels from nail Kami. um i was going to use yellow acrylic to create the the lines on the bumblebee but the 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 yellows that i had the soft pastel lemon wouldn't have i don't think i think it it wouldn't have worked so i thought i'd just use these because i'd get a much more yellowy yellow and then i'm using some brown artisan gel paint to just add a little bit of detail to the wings so they've got ever such fine veins through them so i'm just trying to create i'm not pushing hard on the wing i'm just trying to get a really fine line and just sort of create some of those veins. So do the same on the other one. And then we've got something that looks a bit like this. So I'm gonna cure those in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then before I top coat them, I'm gonna try and stick them. This is This was really, really fiddly this bit but i'm gonna stick them onto the bee with some clear acrylic so you have to be patient and i am probably one of the least patient people that you will ever meet actually that's not true i can be pretty patient but i am quite impatient at times so i'm gonna put look a little bit of clear acrylic there 
on top of that wing so it's kind of going to overlap the wing and overlap the bee's body then i'm going to leave it there for a little bit and then i did decide after a short while that i'm going to put another bead underneath the wing but i drain out a whole load of liquid from the back of this bead otherwise it just wouldn't work and i'm just yeah there we go and then you can just remove your tweezers and then the wing is just gonna just gonna stay there nicely um so you're gonna do the same to the other side and then we've got what looks like this bee i put a little bit of acrylic over the top because i didn't want it to be lumpy bumpy but i mean you don't have to be i just wanted it to look nice and even um but it doesn't have to look nice and even because we are going to go over the top with some flocking powder so it's kind of going to cover up any um what do you call it any uh what's the word any uh i don't know just any bumps i suppose that'll do uh, i've put two little white artisan gel dots on the head to create the eyes or to give it what looks like eyes and this is what flocking powder is this stuff is is horrible really but it's great it's just so it just gets everywhere <laughs> um i'm gonna use matte top coat right now i forgot to top coat those yellow lines um i would have top coated those first but i totally forgot because the artisan gel paint has it cures with a tacky layer so now when i pour this flocking powder onto that matte top coat it's going to stick onto the tacky layer of the yellow as well and i was like as soon as i poured it i was like oh shoot so i had to i cured it in the oh the bees died <laughs> i cured that in the lamp and then i went and got a little lint free wipe and i tried to just wipe over the yellow to get any any flocking powder off that i could just to sort of clean it up a little bit you can see in a minute there's still some on there but i'm gonna top coat the wings now with a shiny top coat and just a non-wipe top coat i've done both wings and then i'm just gonna go over the the yellow lines now just so that i don't get any flocking powder on don't worry about the back you can go over the back as well because i don't want any flocking powder to stick on the yellow because you want to be able to see it and then once that's cured i'm going to go in with a little bit more matte top coat and i'm going to put it on the bee's bottom i'm leaving a slight gap at the very back of the bee's bum because i want to try and put some they've got like little white bottom they've got like little fluffy white bottoms cure that in the lamp and then i'm just gonna like brush off any loose flock look, look at it it's everywhere already um so i'm just gonna place a little bit of top coat at the at the bottom there and then i'm gonna go over with the the it's actually not white it's more of a cream but i haven't got a white flocking powder <coughs> there we go and then pop that in the lamp as well ow teddy's biting my hand ow and he's got like a little white bottom um i also forgot to say i forgot to show you me matte top coat in the head um so you need to do that as well that that white the yellow stripe at the top and the bee's head um then i'm going to take a little bit of clear acrylic make sure you um get as much monomer out the back of the bead as well because again you don't want this running around all over the nail but we're going to use that to stick the bee on and then oh my god this is so difficult to do when my dog's trying to chew my hand <laughs> teddy stop um just push the the clear acrylic up to the bee so that it doesn't like make too much of a, a mess but there we go oh my god i love my bee oh there we go and once you're happy with it just leave that clear acrylic just to set and then in a minute i'm going to show you the finished set all done oh he's so lovely so here we are this is the finished set i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one look at the bee oh please don't forget to vote for me i would love you to vote that would be amazing i need to win something at least <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much anyway i'm gonna stop being a knob now and um i'll do a quick quick uh 
photo. Here we are. Look. Ta-da. Thank you for watching, everyone. I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Bye.